Hi, welcome to another video by Plop Info. Space tourism is a niche segment of the aviation industry that seeks to give tourists the ability to experience space travel for recreational, leisure or business purposes. There are several different types of space tourism including orbital, suborbital and lunar space tourism. The distinction between suborbital and orbital space tourism is the key. The suborbital missions in supersonic planes and rockets such as Virgin Galactic and Blue Origin, go into space and their paths carry them back to Earth up and down. Whereas, the orbital missions circle the Earth at least once in a stable way so are much longer and hence more expensive. While space tourism is one of the most talked about subjects these days, by no means it is a recent stride of mankind in space travel. In the year 1998, Space Adventures Incorporated was the first agency in the field of space tourism founded by American billionaire Richard Gary. The agency brokered rides aboard the Russian Soyuz rockets. In April 2001, Dennis Tito, an American businessman became the world's first private individual to pay for his own space trip. He spent nearly eight days in orbit on a spacecraft visiting the International Space Station. Tito had reportedly paid the Russian space program $20 million for the trip into outer space. The recent trips by billionaires, Richard Branson and Jeff Bezos into space as tourists, using their own rockets and spacecraft have spiked the interest in space tourism and generated a lot of enthusiasm. On July 11, 2021, UK businessman Richard Branson hurtled into space in his own winged rocket ship. Virgin Galactic's passenger rocket plane VSS Unity. He became the first person to fly into space using his own spaceship. Branson and five crew members of his Virgin Galactic Space Tourism Company reached an altitude of about 53 miles, 88 kilometers, above the New Mexico desert. This is enough to experience three to four minutes of weightlessness and see the curvature of the Earth before safely landing back to the runway. The Amazon founder, Jeff Bezos too blasted in space on his rocket company. The Blue Origin's maiden flight making him the second billionaire to travel to space in his own spacecraft. On 20th of July 2021, Blue Origin's reusable rocket New Shepard successfully completed its first flight with four private citizens including Bezos on board. Branson and Bezos's trips are seen by many as a trust-building exercise before commercially launching their space travel ventures. A move made to mitigate risks associated with passenger safety, win trust and build confidence in potential space travelers. SpaceX, an American aerospace manufacturer, founded by Tesla CEO Elon Musk has plans to send private citizens to the International Space Station on a 10-day paid trip. It is also planning trips to the Moon and Mars. Blue Origin, too, has plans to start space tourism flights by early 2022. Virgin Galactic will be starting to fly private individuals commercially to space from next year. They claim to have a lineup of 600 individuals who have already paid deposits to book their tickets for the space travel. There are also reports of some space tourists having signed contracts with third parties to conduct certain research while in orbit. With so much happening in this space, what is your take on space tourism? Philanthropist Bill Gates feels space tourism is not the need of the hour and there's a lot more to be done on Earth. What do you think, does it have the potential of becoming the next big thing or is it just a hype created by a few billionaires to safeguard their huge precarious investments in this industry? Is it a risk worth taking? Will you be willing to go on a paid space travel?